Steve is not afraid to go after the abuser, but I love when he empowers the victim. I'll never forget the personal connection he had with a young girl who was locked in the closet and abused by her husband. He got down on his knees and spoke from his heart. I was very proud of him. Well, who gives you, gives you the right time, that you lock another human being in a closet for six hours? You're making your wife miscarry, you're locking her in closets, all this stuff. That's not love. Man, about that. She seems like a sweet young woman. She seems scared. And I got a clown on my stage right now smirking about everything that you're doing. We ain't gonna do anything. You wanna see your wife? I'm not gonna let your wife come out until you get your ass out of my chair. I'm not gonna help you work out things with your wife because I don't want your wife to be with you. Goodbye and get off my stage. You are too beautiful. You're too nice of a girl to put up with some man doing that to you. And I, I do mean it when I say it. I wish I could have every young man. Why do we have to be teaching this lesson to keep your hands to yourself and don't do this to somebody you love? You don't need to spend any effort, any one more second with that man. I don't, I don't want to hear in two weeks or a month or two days from now, I don't want to hear that you're back with him. You need to be strong for yourself. Be an example for every young woman out there that might watch the show and say, I'm going to stand up and I'm never going to let a man do this to me ever again. Okay? I promise me, okay? And you wanted help, and now I'm asking you, I gotta know, is this what you want? You wanna be with him. When you do need help, when you have a bloody nose, or a black eye, or a brain contusion, or a fractured rib, or saliva on your face, and you wanna get away, you call. I've helped many victims of domestic violence over the past 10 years. But one of the greatest feelings for me is when we receive emails from viewers who, as a result of seeing the show, found the strength and courage to leave their abusive situation. You can say you love somebody, but if you hurt them physically, mentally, you don't love them. Check this out, Taylor. No, you check you this out, Joseph. You always do the home with my family today. You ain't going home with your family. Yeah, yeah. You did leave? You press charges, you want to get away, you're brave, you're courageous, and I'm glad you did that. Uh, people, all, they always want to know updates. Well, we're giving them one. This is a powerful update. Here's a woman who had courage, who said, no more, enough is enough, I'm out. And let's pray. Oh, no. You ain't going nowhere, you ain't going nowhere. She is going somewhere. You ain't going nowhere. You, no, 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 you know no, where no, you're no, going? No. You ain't gonna do you nothing about it either. We're gonna make sure we're gonna follow All up right. and stay up on All this. Right. You're up not on gonna it be then. with her. Stay up on it. She's then. gone now, right? I'm here. Stay up Guess on it. Guess what? I'm blocking the door now.